Vincent Chibugo is a veteran of the 1981-1986 to National Resistance Army War that was fought in Luero Triangle. Whenever he takes a walk in Luero District where he has lived all his life, Chibugo's mind flashes back memories, some pleasing and others sorrowful. He vividly recalls a time in 1982 when government soldiers raided his village in Kanyogoga. He fled with his young brother and Pima, while other family members also dispersed and fled in different directions. <laughs> Mama ya kuata bintu, kwa watu gamba hapato mkule mbele, gwe kuata mto muno mutandi kwa kundu kama kwa ateli no. The 48-year-old was 13 at the time, while his brother Mpima was aged 8. That is how they were separated from their parents and other siblings. The two brothers continued to search for safety, and in the process, they unknowingly ended up among a group of NRA fighters fleeing from government forces who were pursuing them. Bambuza gwe wabate mama o yaani, Vudewa, Vanabato, Ativan Vazibatia Mufi, Mambagai, Wafishi Chusa, Mama Angay, a goon. It was on their second day on the move that the brothers realized that they were in Shiroku Butuntumla in Iruero, where the manga unit of the NRA rebels was based. This was more than 15 kilometers from their home. Bakumba, we bati Bakumba, Bakumba, Bakumacha. And after that, to Gamba, now we mutant decay. The brothers trained with the rebels and mastered some military skills. Later, they were turned into young fighters who cut goes as they were known in the NRA. Chibugandi's brother undertook all the tasks they were given at the front line, like fighting, carrying ammunition, searching for food and water. This is Walusi Forest, the waterscape where Chibungo fetched water back then for colleagues in the camp is still there. The brothers fought many battles on the front line, and Chibugo is grateful to God that he returned alive. His brother Mpima was killed in battle. He learned much later that government operatives killed their father because his sons had joined the NRA rebels. In 1986, Chibugo and other soldiers were involved in a car accident at Kabamba Barracks that left him badly injured. This later prompted his exit from NRA. Damascus Primary School and Church now sit imposingly at the former base of the Mwanga rebel unit. Two years ago, government gave Chibugo 1.5 million shillings as a reward for his role in the bush war. He now tills the land to support his wife and seven children. <laughs> Retired Lance Corporal Livingstone Kabuya is another NRA war veteran living in Wanfu Fubutuntumula. The 62-year-old hopes that one day, his bush war comrades now in government would remember and appreciate his role with the reward. At the height of insecurity in Luero in the early 1980s, with many people killed by government soldiers, the youthful Kabuye joined the NRA rebels. His experience of the bush war went beyond Luero to the Renzoi region, where he was shot in the hand at Kasunga Nyanja as they approached Fort Porto. <laughs> Kavye quit NRA in 1996 and returned to Luero to start a new life. He's disappointed that his efforts have not been appreciated with the token. The veterans have mixed feelings about President Chowin himself and his government they helped to capture power. While some are disappointed, others are contented that Luero, which was a killing zone, is now safe. <laughs> Bwagendani was among the NRA fighters who overran the Bukongo UNL touch. Government soldiers used this house as a command center, but they didn't last long here. Whenever he passes near this aging house and root trees garden, several memories ling on Bwagendani's mind. To the veterans living in Luero, nearly every place is a reminder of the NRA bush war that directly affected them and their families. 
This particular area is called Katabgobuchibi. It housed one of the biggest NRA rebel camps between 1983 and 1985. And each of the veterans that was based in this camp has a story to tell. The story of retired Lieutenant Abube Kamiro, formerly called Francis, is equally emotional. He is not only disappointed that he offered himself to fight and was not rewarded, but also reminded of a family feud that arose after he joined NRA. His siblings blamed their failure to go to school on his decision to join the rebels. UNLA soldiers killed their father because Miro joined NRA. He spent most of his time in the bush in the Katagwebuchibi camp. Miro claims that President Museveni, the founder and lead of the NRA, has not done enough to support veterans like him. Thirty-one years after the NRA bush war, many veterans and civilians are still waiting for rewards promised by government. Many have since given up and no longer look back with pride at their contribution to the NRA bush war. But some are content with enjoying the freedom they fought for. Frank Walusimbi, NTV.